British TikTok drama is out of control. Hello friends, today I'm going to be giving you an insight into British TikTok drama, which has been absolutely mental lately. I haven't been able to catch me breath. Actually, I've got asthma, so I'm kind of used to that. And now I want to take you on a journey of the four recent TikTok dramas that I've seen over the past couple of months. And I want to dissect them and, and discover why they've became so big. Drop a subscribe and let's get into it. The first drama that has went wild lately that I want to speak on is about a girl called Olympia Adley. She released a video a few months back mocking a woman in a supermarket for a food shop. Something which I am quite snobby about, which I'm not proud of, are people's food shops. Why, firstly? Why do you care? Why, why are you snobby about people's food shops. How does that concern you in the slightest? Sorry, have you just grabbed a box of kooky crisp? You're hideous. I was at the supermarket this afternoon just doing my food shop and the woman in front of me, just for context, she might have been having a party, but she was loading on all this junk food, right? White bread, crisps, pop noodles, all that kind of stuff. Damn, that party must have been lit. <laughs> I really wish I could have been there to see how hyped everybody was when the white bread came out. Oh, I wonder if she, you know, threw a curveball and cut their crusts off. That would have got everybody going. Sorry, right? But who has a party and goes, Nigel, we only need one thing to get this party going. Oh, really? What's that? A singular pot noodle, some paracetamol, and a whole loaf of bread and crisps. Project X, here we come. It was so paradoxical for me and again no judgment and i don't know her personal situation wait a minute what does paradoxical mean in a way that seems strange impossible or unlikely because it has two opposite features or contains two opposite ideas oh well the more you know that's another dictionary corner for this week i also love that she said no, no judgment but then proceeds to make the whole video about judging this person actually olympia i don't want to i don't want to stop you in your tracks but that seems a little bit paradoxical to me and everybody has been going like mental on tiktok and twitter about this but i'm actually not that surprised like the woman's called olympia did we really expect her to be a woman of the people surely just of a name we could have suspected that she was going to be this way just by looking at her i can tell she says this exact phrase raw as as has anyone seen my backy? The woman's probably got bloody shares and elf bars, man. Olympia also posted this TikTok. And I just want to 100% clear up right now that I'm not a Tory. Yeah, we're not buying that, love. Have you seen those windows? They have, like, more square footage than most people's homes. So, like I said, everybody has been given a stick for these videos that she's been making, which has caused her to deactivate our entire TikTok account. And normally, when it comes to something like this, I don't like seeing everybody gang up on someone, but I guess, from her point of view, she needs to accept that the videos that she's been making deserves the stick that she's getting. And just before we move on to the next person, I want to say, can you please follow my Instagram? I'm going to list the first 20 people of followers at the end of my next video. So uh, yeah, go and do that. The next TikTok drama that I want us to look at is about these two people. HS Tiki Toki is a TikToker and also my personal inspiration in life. HS Tiki Toki grew a following on TikTok by doing his drop and game video and I know what you're thinking. Pretty cool. Are you trying to hold this wood? I was about to drop game on you. <laughs> One of the main reasons why I really love this guy is his Instagram. Like, his photos are, like, literally so cool. And I even try to copy them myself. Now, all the drama has started after he's made the move to Dubai full-time. He's recently flew a fan of his out, who he's later nicknamed General G. Now, before we even get onto this guy... What a sick name. Stacy, do you take thou General G to be your lawfully wedded husband? So he flew this guy out, put him in loads of videos, bought him loads of expensive designer gear. But the problem occurs when you find out General G is actually autistic. The sexual tension between a big UK TikToker and using someone who has autism for content needs to be studied. It reminds us of when those people were using Carl the Dragon for views and you just kind of knew that they were just kind of trying to ride on the back of them. Not literally. Nevertheless, they decided to release a song together that was called Twist. And they call me the general, popped up the Lambo, feeling incredible. Might take a girl because she's looking too edible. Which I actually can't lie. 
It's not that bad. But when I was researching these two, it turned out a beef occurred because General G likes this girl that's with them called Alexis, I believe. But then she was found sitting on her chest, Tiki Toki's lap, unsure why. I don't know if she's asking for something for Christmas. Which then made General G... <laughs> I'm never gonna get used to saying that. Which then made General G take a flight home. Why have I been researching this? What has my life come to? And then HS Tiki Toki decided to make a diss track on the general. Wearing dirty clothes the day she got man tits. George, why are your teeth the same colour as piss? Right. Okay, I gave him a bit of credit for the first song, but this is just absolutely horrific, isn't it? Even BG Media would turn this down, and that's saying something. If I had to pick a standout bar, it would probably be, General, why are your teeth the same colour as piss? It's a real thinker. I think he's gonna have to release a genius video for that one. But after this diss track, I actually think they're, they're back friends now. I believe that General G now has a girlfriend, and he doesn't care about the other girl who he was previously liking. And I tried to find a couple of videos of them together, and I found this one. General G here, I'm at this dank restaurant with my main. Look at that lip gloss, she's proper pengaling penalty. What, what are you saying? <sighs> <laughs> it's hard, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my god. Not not me, I'm not hard at all. Why does he sound like an undercover cop? <laughs> However, I checked my phone this morning and this new girlfriend of his actually cheated on him with another girl. And I've tried to get the video up, but they've either privated it or they've deleted it, so I can't show you it. Honestly, this, this drama is mental, but let us tell you something, I'm bloody invested, I am. But the thing that is so clear and obvious with this group and the drama they create, it's all fake. It's actually quite smart from HS Tiki Toki because you can see he's definitely the brains behind it. I guess he's not really hurting anyone, but like, honestly, I just could not be asked. But if you thought that drama was weird, you haven't seen anything yet because the next person actually makes my skin crawl. This person is Elphaba. Oh, I'm just gonna call her Elphaba because it's easier. Elphaba is a TikToker with over 450,000 followers. Wow. And I don't think I've ever came across somebody like this in my entire time doing YouTube. So the first time I discovered her was watching her poop herself live. Hold on. <laughs> That was not diarrhea, don't worry, that was a fart. Alright, good to know, right? Well, at least we've cleared that one up. By the way, did she just fart on the mic and then put that in her face? Can you imagine if I just did that right now? Just randomly, if I just went, oh... Right, let's carry on, who we're talking about next. And if you thought this was like a, you know, just a, oh... It was a one-off, right? It never really happens. Well, one of her favourite things she likes to do on live is to short. I just farted. So, right, I need a VAR check on that. That one was not a fart. That one was wet. Uh, uh, uh. Oh. For Christ's sake, woman. Honest to God. Christ, how are you so windy? Remember when this app was just about dancing and lip syncing? Can we go back to that? The way she arches her back when the big one comes out, why? I don't want to see it. Now, surely, okay, what I've showed you, it can't get worse than that. It, it literally can't. But you'll be mistaken because it actually gets so much worse. Oh, oh, elf bar, elf bar, bless our soul. I, I don't actually know why she's not bless our soul, curse our soul for showing us this. I actually can't do this, it makes us itchy. We have got psoriasis, man. She's currently residing at another TikToker's house called Chelsea, or otherwise known as CLA. But I don't know why she's otherwise known as that. It sounds like a freaking Mercedes. And elf bar is literally staying at this house, knowing fine well she's got nits. Like, imagine going to your friend's house with nits. Like, that is just wrong on so many levels. I can't even joke about that. And I know I've joked about, you know, like some of the some of the clips I've showed, but I genuinely worry for this girl. Like it's funny for people to laugh at her and have a joke at her. But the thing is, this this is clearly a person that, that needs help. What do you think, though? I'd, I'd, be, I'd actually be interested to know if you think I'm in the wrong here or, like, just your general opinions on, on Elf Bar. And for some reason, the, the, the TikToker we talked about, Chelsea, uh, who she's letting Elf Bar stay at her house, she, at the start, wasn't even that bothered about the knit. She was more bothered about something else. My charger has gone, so I know she's took my charger as well. My Samsung charger has gone fucking missing. It's not here no more. So where is it? I'm not, I've been anyone in my house no more yeah that's 
That's definitely the biggest issue you've got on your plate at the minute. Me, when someone brings nits into my house. Me, when someone steals my phone charger. That's actually how I stand when uh, I'm annoyed with Chloe. I just stand like that in the corner until she says something. Now, it wouldn't be a TikTok drama video if we didn't include the main man, our Tom Holland to our Spider-Man snapshot eye. If you don't know this man, he is also known as Paul Breach. Uh, I've only done one video on him, but you can watch it here if you want to. But I'll give you a quick rundown of him if you don't know, he's a 43 year old man who lip syncs and dances for children on the internet. Which kind of sounds only half bad, I guess, right? Until you learn about his multiple predatory behaviours to these young girls, it kind of makes the dances a bit less cute. Now this man is another man that should genuinely just not be on the app. However, he's been kind of fighting back against the predatory accusations by replying to a comment on livestream. You were in a relationship with a teenager when you were 27. How dare you call Call that normal. How dare you call that normal? You don't like my morals. That's fine. You don't like my moral compass. I will get over that. Your opinion on my moral compass isn't going to make my moral compass any different. Yeah, Paul, say that. That doesn't make you sound dodgy at all. Nice work, Paul. If only pedos pulled this out in court. I'm fine with it. So why does it matter if you are? Like, not everything can be put down to a difference in moral compass, my friend. What happens if a Greg's worker hands me a pipe and hot, beautiful corned beef pasty? I grab it, and then I throw it straight back in her face. Nobody's gonna be on my side if I say, well... I guess everybody's just got a different moral compass. Now, I haven't really went into too much detail about, you know, the different accusations. You can kind of go and figure that out yourself or watch the full video I did on them. But recently, a school has actually wrote in their newsletter to parents about this man, warning the parents that he's in the local area. Do you realise how mental that is? Like, imagine being one of these parents that's, like, out of the loop of TikTok. You will genuinely be thinking, like, Jimmy Savile's regen's on the loose. Especially when they find out he's name Snapshot Eye. The guy sounds like a fucking villain. Now, if you're getting all these accusations against you, what, how, how would you respond, right? You, you would, you would like, try your best to, to clear your name and, you know, don't joke about it. Just be like, look, I'm literally not a weirdo. This is how Paul decides to fight back against this. I'm going to answer accusations that didn't happen. I'm going to do this once. And once only. I can't answer accusations if they didn't happen. Done. He's a lovely lad, isn't he? Am I being gaslighted by a 43-year-old man? I think I am. I've just realised as well, he looks the spitting double of Louis Walsh from the X Factor. If only X Factor had an under-19s category, he'd be straight on the panel. Imagine going on Judge's house and he just takes you back to his two-bed gaff in Norwich, he'd be gutted. But yeah, the fact that he's just joking about this and, like, pretended to cry at the start, he's just such a weird guy. Like, a couple of streams later, he's back to doing stuff like this. What 43-year-old calls himself cheeky? Me. It's really me. I'm cute as well. Oh, no. Fuck. Honest to God, this guy, man. Christ. Who do you think was the worst? Let me know. Uh, and if you thought these TikTokers were bad, you haven't seen anything yet. Because if you watch this video, you will realise these ones are much worse.